Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Something is making uh, Sakuya incredibly comfortable. Has <laughs> something stolen its way into my rope? <laughs> there you go, out of her cleavage. Comes a bug. You again? <laughs> like, I like that he does it all the time. Apparently, is just. And I don't know that he's a bug as much as he's like a little guy wearing a bug shell as a helmet. I don't know. Why, oh, for a little thing? You sure make a big fuss. All right. Let's <laughs> just try to make the conversation a little bit more interesting. And he doesn't like to be called Bug. We're going to go over that a lot. He's a wandering artist. His name is Isu. We're going to call him the Bug, probably. <laughs> that drawing's really good! Even cute in the real thing. I don't know. That drawing is very traditional and stylized. Although I suppose the entire landscape of this game is. You look kind of familiar. You look just like that statue of Shiranu. <laughs> Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me. I, I love this. I, I like... As much as Isud is going to be incredibly annoying in the early part of the game, I don't know how, what he's going to be like later. Uh, he has a prized sword, apparently. Uh, as, as annoying as he's going to be right away, uh, he is essentially the voice of... of, of Ami, because uh, we can't... Uh, we're a dog, we can't we? We're a wolf, we can't talk. So the village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit, which is not as dirty as it sounds. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. But stuff like that, jeez. I trust in you, I know that you will lead us down the only your awesome power can restore life to the world. Now we don't really have any awesome powers. Um, just yet, but we will, soon. She said some weird stuff. And the RB kept inside the fruit. And that's the fruit. <laughs> and if we cut it down, the village will be restored. Okay, but we can't, but like, it's awfully high up there. Uh, but we don't have any special powers, so we can't really... And darkness is really getting to me, too. That can happen while you're taking a nap. That's true. That's absolutely true. Okay, we can jump. If we hit square, we can uh, we can headbutt things. We can't get up to the the fruit yet. We actually just have to go in here. Okay, where are we? Got all the quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. The L button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Like, okay, there we go. Right stick looks around. And uh, L1 actually does this. It just gives us like a first person perspective. All right, these mirrors, uh, the origin mirrors allow us to save our games. All right, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna save, uh, and you'll see that I have a save file. And there it is. Or I should say a practice file. How many save files can we have? 
Oh man, I love I love game systems with gigantic eternal memories. Okay, so let's go down to like like here. Yeah, why not? Cause who cares, really, logically. Okay, over the bridge we go. Just waiting to be broken. Alright, so this is our tutorial about smashing things with our head. Or doing tackle. And there'll be a lot of breakable things. Now, okay. Yen obviously is the currency of the game. It's also the currency of the country of Japan. Uh huh. So, uh, we will be collecting yen. Uh, for several things. Alright, so... The next bit of tutorial, I believe, will be about this cliff. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. Let's go check it out. Okay, getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. So press the X button to jump, and then press it again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you can jump really high. Wall jumping is up. Uh, Pretty intuitive in this game, it's nice. And you can do it to say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled, we don't want to miss any treasure. Which we won't be. I'm doing a pretty complete walkthrough. Treasures, uh oh, how am I supposed to get that? Alright, we obtained the holy boat S. It's our it's three units of solar energies. It's our favorite snack. The solar bone. I don't know what to say about that, quite frankly. All right. And now, a brush tutorial. Looks like the bridge is out. It does. This shouldn't be so hard, huh? That's kind of long. Mind if I call ya Emmy? And that's what we will be doing, so. Listen, Emmy, ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Now, this will be, the essentially the equivalent of magic in this game is your brush powers. To take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Yep, and agree. We have a, a brush subscreen. That will allow us to paint things. So. And it's one of my many... So this is the technique of rejuvenation. It's a brush guide power that can restore broken or missing things. Frank is really hard just to master this. One technique. But there are 13! <laughs> like, I like that. This is the power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate. The gods now dwell within objects all around us. But, God or no God, how could anyone have the power to master all this? Yeah, really, how indeed? Now, if you run, uh, as you run, uh, the game will actually speed you up automatically. So, River of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens, they mean a fabled Stardust River. But I sure don't see anything like that around here. We have to use the restoration, like, technique, but, like, we won't be doing that just yet. We actually want to run up here. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look, are those stars forming a pattern? No, not really. And there's, yeah, there's a star missing from the sky, like. Yeah, so he can't do it. So this is essentially our tutorial about our brush powers. So 
So we pull up the canvas, move our brush around. Put a little dot there. There it is, we got it. We're better than the bug. Yomagami. Okay, I apologize for not like calling you over the last century, like. So he's God of Restoration. And I like the different colored claws. And the fact that he's coming out of a, a, a scroll. 13 spirits of the brush that we once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. So we were the god that originally contained all their, or controlled all 13. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. So there we go, brush technique one. Like, wow! <laughs> Wait, so you have the power of rubber tree days now? Like, like that. Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? And, and, and it's Isun's job to be incredibly doubtful. Or Isun. Like, that couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Well, me. It's just not you, bug. I want the yen. Okay. Uh, we, there are gonna be there's there are there's gonna be purchasing in this game, so be mindful of your money. And yeah, wonder if yeah, it, it would. Nah, it's too much thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river. There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I understand your cynicism. I would be cynical about it too, if I were a bug. And uh, uh, largely the ink will just go where it's supposed to go. So there we go. A river of Stardust! <laughs> like, so yeah, so we replaced it. We completed the river of the... Who the heck drew the drawing thing? Like, yeah, the bug doesn't even get that it's us. Okay, you can swim. X helps you swim a little bit faster. Just jumping out of the water repeatedly. There's really nothing to do in the river of the heavens. It was just our job to complete it and get over here to do this. And get an astral pouch. So we fill this thing with food as we go. And uh, if it's full, it saves us if we die. I haven't had to use it yet. And uh, these pots over here, I think they're all filled with food. Oh, maybe not. These are. So, Apple. Fills the astral pouch a little bit. They're all gonna be fills the astral pouch a little bit. All right. And an orange. I like how they give us all, like, different things here. All right, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. All right, onward. Okay. Yeah, if you see the glowing, the glowing is the game automatically upping your speed because all you're doing is moving, which is fantastic. It's a very beautiful kind of solution to the problem of, uh, you know, speaking. All right, and we obtained a stray bead. Hopefully it'll explain. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. You do, there's a hundred of them. Uh, I'm assuming we'll, we're, I'm a completionist, so we'll probably get all 100. This is our fan menu. This is our pause menu when I come back. Uh, more of this. Bye, everybody.